Uh, like Daniel said, my name is Walter, my Twitter handle and my link is there. So feel free to contact me. If anything I can help later, just let me know. So today's topic is how to choose your next job or which job fits you better. And that's only one word I want you to remember tonight, mismatch. You don't remember anything, just go home and remember there's one word called mismatch. <laughs> and then hopefully you understand what I mean later. So who am I? I'm just another ordinary engineer in San Francisco Bay Area. And I, sometimes I always feel, hey, should I change job? I want to ask a question. How many of you changed jobs at least once in the last two years? Ah, I see some hands here. <laughs> so more than once in the last two years, anyone? <laughs> so actually, it's quite common to change job in San Francisco Bay Area. So, uh, so that's why hopefully, always have to make the decision and then tonight hopefully i can share some experience how to make that decision uh, we are engineers we're developers so hopefully we have some kind of like a quantitative way to make the decision this is not easy decision like sometimes i feel like so many factors you need to consider how do you know hey this job or i should change or two offers in front of me should i take two or should i take one so hopefully tonight can have some uh, experience as well with you so, Janet Yellen, uh, former uh, Federal Reserve Chair Lady, and she has to make all the decisions to increase the interest rate or don't increase the interest rate. And what she say is sometimes you have to make decisions without knowing all you want to know. So for her, she will need to know the inflation data, productivity data, employment data, but sometimes she doesn't have all the data. She still need to decide Interest rate go up half a point, quarter a point, or don't add it. For us, same. We go to interviews and then we have offers. You may not know all the things you want to know before you make a decision. And then hopefully this talk will help you. So 67% of Americans not happy at their job. So <laughs> majority of us don't like our jobs. And then 51% will just do the bare minimum. 16% are even worse. They actually don't like their job at all, and then will drag down the office morale. So you can take a look at this article, why so many Americans of us fellow citizens don't like our jobs. So what is mismatch? <laughs> mismatch is, uh, sorry, <laughs> what is mismatch? <laughs> this is clearly a mismatch. The bow is a lot bigger than the, <laughs> the luck is a lot bigger than the bow. So this is clearly a mismatch. So mismatch is something I just create and then try to make it easy to remember. So M is like myself. I will go into details in later slides. M is just like myself, interest, security, money, advancement, team, company, health. So let's go to one of, each one of them, myself. You first need to know yourself and then ask yourself questions, like what you want and what you do not want, what you need and what you do not need what you must have or what you don't want to have. So before anything, you ask yourself all these questions, so know what you want first before you go next. And then uh, nobody knows yourself more than you, so only you can answer this. So say for example, I want to do coding, so don't get a job something like uh, infrastructure, because they don't code that much, or you want to do infrastructure. <laughs> don't get a job <laughs> like the other way around. So, Make sure what you want to do first before you go next. And then I is interest or intent. What's your interest? So you want to do data science or you want to do a, a mobile, bank, a mobile application or you want to do infrastructure or... No, so ask yourself what's your interest, what's your intent? And in terms of intent, sometimes you want more money. I'm young, I want to buy a house in San Francisco. Two million ah. apiece. <laughs> so I need a lot of money. So that's my intent. And then say for example, I need a green card. So you need to find a job who will sponsor you, the visa, application, all this. So make sure you know all these details before you go further. S is security. So does this job have any security? Or is it a temporary position? Sometimes I even got a mail told me that there's a three month contract. And then I was thinking three month contract. By the time I go in and go out, it's already more than like two sort, right? So sometimes ask yourself, like, do you have a, is it a short-term position, permanent position, full-time, or contract to hire? Now ask all this uh, to see if it fits your lead. Say, for example, uh, you don't want to change job every three months, so don't take those three-month contracts. 
And then uh, <laughs> is the company growing or dying? Some companies are growing, so join them, right? Some companies are dying, like even you don't quit, they may lay off you. So the other one is the whole industry as a whole. Is it sun rising or sun setting? So try to understand the company and, and its security related to it. And the next one is important. M is, uh, for me, is money and manager. Uh, money is pretty sure, right? We all live in San Francisco. The rent is high, house is expensive. So you need the money to live here, and then you also need to pay your student loans. So every day, you, <laughs> even you don't do anything, the rent by itself is 100 bucks a day already, probably, here, right? And then the student loan is another, I don't know how much, maybe 50 bucks. So you need to make enough money to live here and then pay the rent and then pay the student loans. And then total compensation. Now, besides base salary, you have bonus, you have stock options, RSU, and then how long you get your first 25%, 20%, depends on four year or five year schedule. Some of them may need two years to even see the first RSU share, right? And then I PTO benefits are also money. Some of them are really great benefits. Right? They uh, have student loan assistance, help you pay some. And then uh, the last is important, actual hourly rate. So what I mean is, uh, they may say I give you two times your salary, but I make you work two times longer in terms of hours. <laughs> so your hourly rate is the same. <laughs> so, so make sure you understand, like, like when you compare Apple to Apple, make sure you compare. So manager. If there's only one single person make or break your job happiness, I would say it's my manager. So I always feel like if you have a good manager, you will pretty much have a better life. If you don't have a good manager, then life can be very miserable. So some of the good manager things they do is like this. And I have a manager, his name is Nick Gordon. And that is this recording? <laughs> oh, like, I always told him the same. Uh, if I have the same job, but that pay me like 1500 less per month after tax, I will still work for you, Nick. <laughs> That's how much I feel he's worth as my manager. He's supportive, he's uh, always good, listen to us, help us out, remove all the things unnecessary, and then give us the interesting things to do. And he's hands on. He just taught me machine learning uh, last week. So like, I didn't do much, and then he showed me all the machine learning, uh, forecast model, all this thing. So uh, if it's recorded, make sure this piece inside. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you can have a good manager, supportive, listening, and then uh, help you out. Because uh, your life will be a lot better if you have a good manager. Advancement. So uh, will you get career advancement? Do they promote people internally? Or they always hire someone outside and be your manager? Like, how long it take like, your uh, manager to become manager? Did he spend 10 years there? Some company may make you st spend 15 years before you got a first promotion. So make sure you know, like, is this a damn job or is something you can move up? And then T is uh, many things. Team, uh, you work in a team. So who are your uh, team members? Like, uh, uh, are they all in US? Are they all in San Francisco? Or some of them in India, some of them in Europe, some of them uh, East Coast? So make sure like, the one you work with them day to day, like, they are good people, you fit in well. And then uh, what's the culture? Do they always uh, have a good culture working together? Do they want to share and then uh, help out each other? Or I like, push you all the dirty jobs and then make your life miserable? So make sure you have a good team and then know it before you sign up. And technology. So what technology they use? Do they use the fun thing, good things like Kubernetes, Docker, containers, uh, AWS, GCP, Azure, all this, or they are really old style doing the old things? So uh, make sure you know what you want to do in terms of technology. So, and ask if you don't know. And also make sure uh, you have fun with those technologies. I don't know you, I'm always fascinated when I see the new things. I always want to just put my hands on it, try it out, oh, it works, five minutes, and then cool. So, and then uh, time, time is important. Uh, here in San Francisco Bay Area, many of us work long hours. So we have a term called 7-11. So we start 7 a.m. and then end at 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we got 7-11. 
So make sure you can take it. And then C is company culture, challenges, and commute. So what's the culture there? What's the company missions? And then uh, what's, uh, do they treat people nicely? Do they uh, respect people nicely? Uh, what the challenges you will face? All these are interview questions you can ask the hiring manager. Or, and then, uh, so make sure you ask enough. And then one thing important in San Francisco is Camille. This one, <laughs> I pulled it up yesterday. From Water Creek to St. Mattel, say one to two hours. But actually, I have a coworker told me four hours on St. Mattel Beach because of an accident. So Camille here is really a big deal. So make sure you can uh, deal with the Camille. And then uh, don't underestimate, and then always make sure health. This is the most important topic. I always feel health is more important than wealth. And then will this job affect your health? Is it too stressful? Super long hours? In Asia, they have something called 996. So start at 9 a.m. and at 9 p.m., six days a week. And they, the po programmer, they even put up a website called 996 Stop ICU. <laughs> so you can go take a look. And then make sure you have enough time to sleep, rest, and then exercise. And then simple use case. So first night, you have a job now. You consider, should I change job? So you can use this methodology. Second is you interview, got more than one job offer. Side by side, you can compare. And then like, this is a lot of number. Don't worry about it. Just like, engineer stuff. <laughs> you put a plus on things you like. You put a minus on things you don't like and add up the total. So like this here, this guy should keep the should, should start looking for a new job because like, uh, he had minus two. His wife, OK. His wife got plus four, so can stay in the same job. <laughs> so this one is yes, now you have two offers side by side. You can take a look. See if you should uh, take the job offer one or job offer two. And then pretty much uh, you can do it more complicated if you are really an engineer. So you do one to five and add up all the numbers and then do the same. And then a good job will bring you more than eight hours of happiness at work, Monday to Friday at least. So make sure you are the person on the right hand side, always happy, a lot of joy, instead of the person on the left hand side. And then if you only remember one word, please remember this tonight. So uh, next time you have something in front of you, you can use some of these questions, criteria, factors to check out which one you should do. And then that's my sentence. Our job is match and have a happy life.